how narcissistic parents destroy their child. Some children may grow without the narcissistic parent having too much effect on them. It depends on how much influence and control the narcissist had on the child. It tends to affect the scapegoat child and the golden child the most. The golden child is regarded by the narcissistic parent as exceptional in some way. They're expected to be extraordinary at everything not make mistakes and be perfect while the scapegoat child is blamed and shamed for all of the issues that arise these roles can change from time to time depending on the narcissistic parent's emotional state so not every child of the narcissistic parent is raised the same even though they may have been raised in the same home And some children may be more susceptible to abuse and manipulation. They may be more open to suggestion. They may be more sensitive to what they see and hear. And to what they experience from the narcissistic parent. A child is like a sponge. They don't have much knowledge or experience of their own. So they're constantly learning and observing. They're constantly absorbing information from the people around them. And they imitate what they see other people do. They follow other people as a pattern, model and example. Because that is how they learn. But unfortunately, when they're being raised by a narcissistic parent, they're experiencing the wrong things. They're learning the wrong things because narcissists have difficulty managing internal and external stressful situations. And they have patterns and behaviors that they fall back on to try to deal with it. They have coping and defense mechanisms that they are using around their child, which the child is observing. They're witnessing these rapid and unpredictable situations, which causes unrest and instability in the child. They no longer feel safe or secure because they feel like they're constantly at risk of danger or harm. So they're constantly in fight or flight mode. They're constantly on edge, waiting for the next shoe to drop, and they're trying to find some form of comfort and security so that they can feel like they're safe and in control, which they find by imitating the narcissistic parent. Because at this point, they may not have even developed their own personality and they may not have any independence from the parents so the parent is causing the child to seem less important than they actually are and the child is constantly under the parent's control while the parent is establishing these negative attitudes in the child so the child is learning this at a young age from the narcissistic parent It's already being fixed firmly and deeply into their minds. If the child is fortunate, they may find other sources of influence who may be more deserving of their respect and approval. While most children are likely to imitate the parent, which means that they will take on the characteristics of the parent so they will become just like them. These traits will be passed down. And it's inevitable. It can't be avoided or prevented unless the child is fortunate enough to be exposed to something outside of their environment. But other than that, if the child is under a narcissistic parent's custody, 
they are going to be influenced by that and those teachings are going to be passed down to the child which will reduce the chances of the child learning the correct coping mechanisms and behaviors because narcissists don't have boundaries they don't have any conceptual limits between themselves and other people they don't know where they end and other people begin they don't know what's theirs and what's not so there's no physical comfort zone because everything is enmeshed which is exactly how narcissists like it to be because they have an inability to regulate their own emotions so they can't survive emotionally if there are boundaries in their minds boundaries are just something that they impose on you so that they can control you and subject you to emotional harm but they don't believe that they should have to limit or restrict themselves because they lack discipline and self-control and they're addicted to people as their sources of supply they need people to regulate their emotions that is their main priority it comes before anything else so the child won't receive any appropriate guidance they won't receive the correct advice or information to resolve any problems or difficulties so instead the child is already preordained to have an unfortunate and inescapable outcome and when they grow up they may engage in behaviors and activities that have the opposite of their desired effect things that are contrary to intuition or common sense expectation things that impair their own progression because they have these firmly fixed habits beliefs and attitudes that are difficult to change because they were established in childhood so it's all they've ever known they've never known anything different it's the result of the effect of everything that they experienced as a child because they were raised in a dysfunctional environment every day for years so it's a very difficult thing for them to change which means that when they grow up it will still have an effect on them and it will make it difficult for them to progress it will put them at a disadvantage and it may even result in them developing a mental illness or a personality disorder which may even be irreversible it may not be possible for them to change it And the influence and effects of this disorder may spread widely throughout other groups of people it's like an infectious disease and for many of them there is no cure there is no possible way to relieve their symptoms because there are millions of people who are being affected by it if you were exposed to a narcissist as a child it will leave some damaging effects on you it's not just going to resolve itself it's not going to go away on its own because it's persistent and pervasive it's designed to spread and keep going thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.